Hi, and welcome to the next gas video. Um, this one is starting with the puzzle for the 30th of January 2024, which is Kensek Pears Killer by Clover. Um, there is no silver shout outs, none have been posted, so I can't give any. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, so this is the message that Clover posted with it. Phew, I'm so sorry I'm late coming back to Gas HQ. I had to try every store in town to find the white crop key you wanted for Philip Newman's half birthday cake. The puzzle being referred to there is the final video in my previous guess, uh, final puzzle in my previous gas video, um, and it was incredibly hard. I was talking to some people who took over 30 minutes to solve that puzzle. I actually couldn't solve it in my first attempt, and I had to re-record the solve of that one. Wait, why is it an absolute mess in here? Did you guys bake the cake without me? Uh, I suppose I'll have to give these to the solvers, then at least they're always grateful for my baking, and there's a smiley face and a cake emoji. Uh, then it's the rules. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a satiated saltosaurus. So here is the puzzle. Um, it's the first puzzle in this video, so I'm going to go through full rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Um, digits in cages do not repeat and must sum to the indicated totals. So for example, these two digits must sum to 6 because that's the total of the cage. These two must sum to 14. These two must sum to 10. Uh, digits separated by a white dot must be consecutive, such as 2 and 3. They have a difference of 1. Not all possible dots are necessarily given. So it would be perfectly fine for these two to be separated by one or these two to be consecutive. It's all fine. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Uh, where do I want to start? Um, where do I want to start? Well, one, three is a one, two cage. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be helping me. Two is consecutive with either one or three, and I cannot put three into a six cage because I'd need another three. So this is one, this is five. Five is consecutive with either four or six, and I cannot put six into a 12 cage, I'd need another six. So this is four, this is eight. Eight is consecutive with seven, nine, and these are in the same box. This is also a seven, nine. I cannot put seven in a 14 cage. So this is the nine, this is the five, this is the seven, this is the nine. Seven in a 10 cage goes with three. Uh, five... Oh, 9 in a 12 cage goes with 3. 5 is consecutive with either 4 or 6. I cannot put 4 in an 8 cage because I'd need another 4. So this is a 6, meaning this is a 2. 2 is consecutive with 1 and 3. And this 3 makes this 1 and this 3. 1 goes with 4. 3 goes with 7 to complete the cages. Uh, this 2 looks up making this the 1 and this the 2. And in this column, 1, 2, 3, this is a 4. So this is a 6. Okay, where else can I look? So this is a four cage, which can only be one three, because the only other way of making four in two digits is two two, and I can't put two twos in the cage. So this is the three, and this is the one. This is now a run of three digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I can't put six or seven in a six cage, or these would have to be zero or lower. So this is the two, this is the four. I can take two out of both of those. I cannot put seven in a 14 cage. I'd need another seven. So this is the six, this is the eight, this is the seven, this is the six. This is a pair of digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this five makes this the seven and this the five. These two digits are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1 and 9, and 9 is the one that is consecutive with 8. 9 goes with 3 in a 12 cage. This has to be 2 or 4 to be consecutive with the 3, and it can't be 2, so it's 4. So this is a 6. Consecutive with 6 is 5 and 7. This 7 means that this is the 5 and this is the 7. 7 to get to 12 is with 5. Um, 5 to get to 13 is with 8. 6 is consecutive with, well, it can't be 5, so this is 7, so this is 3, which is good. That consecutive dot is working. 2 is can't be consecutive with 3, so this is a 1, so this is a 9. This is a pair. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is an 8, 9 pair. Now, if this is a 9, this is a 5. If this is an 8, this is a six and it can't be. So this is five and nine. So this is eight, which means this is a seven. These are one, two, three, four, five, six and eight. And this eight makes this six and this eight. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one and two. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four and nine. This four makes this the nine and this the four. These are one, two, this is the three, four, five, this is the six. These two digits are now these two digits are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, if this is a 1, this is a 9. So this is the 2, this is the 8, which means this is the 1, this is the 5. 
in here i need to put one two three four five, two and seven not sure one two three four five six seven these are eight and nine and i can resolve those nine and eight okay up here one two three i need to put a four in not sure five is in one of those two six is right there so these are four five and nine there's no five there there's no nine there that's not really helping. Need to put a two in here. Need to put a three right there. So these are two, four, five. There's no five there. There's no four in any of those. So that's the four, which means that's the five, which means this is a four, nine pair. The five looks back making that the two and that the five. The two looks down making that the seven and that the two. These are pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, not five. These are seven and nine. The seven here makes this the nine and this the seven. This is six and eight. And the six here makes this the eight and this the six. This nine looks like making that the four and that the nine. I should have used that before. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, this three makes this the one and this the three, which looks across making this the two and this the one. I need to put a two, three, four. And that's four minutes and 27 seconds, which is actually 90 seconds under the two hat time. I did well on that one. Pretty happy with that. Thank you very much for the puzzle. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you with it. If you were stuck, I... Probably not. Um, yeah, see you for tomorrow's puzzle. Okay, and now the puzzle for the 31st of January 2024, which is called Dead or Alive Arrows by Bill Murphy. Uh, this is a message that seems specifically designed to make it impossible for me to record these messages. It's finally time to ask a big question, one that straight up haunted me for easily two decades. In the original 1994 Japanese show Iron Chef, when Chairman Kaga takes a bite out of a capsicum pepper, what is the th that thing he does? It's at 013 in a YouTube video that is linked in the in the daily uh, thread of this um, where it's posted. Did this man nearly choke? Was it too spicy? Is it a stifled laugh? Also, why keep that shot in? Um, if you're like, where did this come from? Today's guess is a dead or alive arrow Sudoku that was very hard to not just type. You sp and it was very hard not to just to not just type you spin me right round baby right round like a record baby right round over and over again uh the rules are then mentioned uh your time in this puzzle will probably depend on you noticing the gray arrow certain gray arrows i haven't hidden them but i feel like if i don't say this people will yell at me so there's a couple of arrows that apparently people miss um and if you get a dinosaur today and i'll probably miss them by the way if you get a dinosaur today you get a capsi comnoria uh com comnoria okay so this is the puzzle I am going to restart the... Uh, so, the way the rules work, actually. Better go into that. So, it's normal Sudoku rules. Digits in cells containing white arrows, which I assume are these ones, must appear in the given direction. So, um, what that means is basically whatever... The, um, is in this arrow must be seen by the arrow. Digits in cells containing grey arrows must not appear in the given direction. So whatever is in here must not be in any of those cells. Great. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we know there's no one in those, but I don't think that's where I should start. What I should start is by saying we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, nine, and seven, eight, nine must be seen, and I can't repeat. So this seven couldn't see a seven in either of those, and it could only see one seven in those, same with eight and nine. So this is seven, eight, nine. Now this can't be an eight because I can't see an eight in there. These are one, two, three. So these are one, two, three. Um, and this can't be a two because I can't see a two up there. Oh, it also can't be a three. That's the one, and there's no one in there. Um, could I repeat that anywhere else? Like the seven, eight, nine here. This can't be a seven. This can't be a nine, this can't be an eight. This can't be a two, this can't be a one, this can't be a three. The seven, eight, nine here. This can't be a seven, this is the nine and there's no nine here, great. Now, what comes next? Now these can't see, but these must, well this is a seven or a nine because this must see that cell. So this must see something, and that 9 means that these are both 7, which means this is 8. Ooh, that makes that really hard to see. This is 9. 
And can I repeat that down here? Yeah, this has to see that cell. So this is one or three. So these are both three. So this is two, this is one. Now, uh, no, that's not true. This, yeah, this is can't see a one, but it never could. But that's what narrowed those down. This must be a one or a three because it has to see one of those. So this is a one or a three, and it's not a one. That's a three, which means that's a two, that's a three. This has to see a seven or a nine. So this is a seven or a nine, and it's not a nine. So it's a seven, which means that's an eight, and that's a seven. Cool. So now seven is right there by Sudoku. This is a pair. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are three and five. So this, no, I didn't mean to select both cells. This three makes this five and this three. These are triples. One, two, four, nine. There's no nine there. There's no two there. Okay. So these are one, six, eight. There's no one there, there's no eight there. Okay. Now this can't be two. F so what? That nine means that that's a four because I can't repeat nine along here. So that's a two and that's a nine. This one means this is a six, this is an eight, and this is a one. Cool. Now this is a pair. One, two, three, four, six. And I probably want to look at these quadruples because one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. There's no eight there, but there's also no five there because it can't repeat on that line. So this is six or nine. This can't be five and it can't be eight. So this is a six, nine. So I can take six, nine out of those and the nine makes this the six. So this is the nine. And the eight means that is the five and that is the eight. The six means that is the four and that is the six. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is four or five, but it can't be five. That's the four, that's the five, because I can't repeat. So these are one and two, and the two means this is the one and this is the two. So now I've got these triples. One, two, or actually let's just put the two in and use this as a pair. One, two, three, four, five, and nine. Okay, all the arrows seem to be done. So this triple, where's eight in the column? It's there, so this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I've, I'm never a fan, and I try and avoid it when I'm setting, of puzzles that just leave you with stuff in the corner because it always feels tricky about how you're going to resolve it. So two is in one of those two by Sudoku. Three needs to go into this row. It's in one of those. Four, five, six. No, where's eight in this row? It's in one of those two. It just feels, I don't know, it just feels weird when you get to this because you're just like putting in quads and quints and stuff trying to hope you find the right thing. Two is in one of those two. So what is this? Two, four, seven, eight. So this is two or four. Eight isn't in either of those. So eight again is in one of those two. In fact, this is seven, eight. This is a seven, eight pair, and that seven makes that the eight and that the seven. So this is two, four. Okay, so now I'm down to literally just it. What's this triple? One, two, three, four, six. And there's no three or four there. That's the six. So this is a three, four, and now I'm down to pairs. So one, two, three, four, five. No, it's no, I'm not down to a triple. That's a five or a nine. So I'm down to five six nine so these are five six or nine there's no five there there's no nine there and these i've got to put a one in them right this is a one so this is five six or nine and it's not six so this is five or nine that's no, not five this is nine this is six this is five so this is nine this is five I've I miss it. I, I've missed some scanning. So this column two, four, six. So this is two or six. This is four or six. Just putting in quads and hoping it that's a nine by Sudoku. 
one is in one of those two. Four is down here. Six is in one of those two, I think. Yeah. One, two, three, four. This is a five, six pair. This is just a five, I think. Because five can't be there, five can't be there. So this is five, this is six, this is eight. The five makes this one, which makes this five, which makes this one, this is what I needed to find. That is four, which means that is six, which means that is two, which means that is four. That's what I needed to find, which means that is two. This is not the two. The four looks up making that three and that four. You just got to find where the weakness is. And if you don't find it quickly, your time is going to be crap. This is four and this is seven and that finishes the puzzle in 718. I will, yeah, I missed it by 18 seconds because just when you get down to just having empty cells in boxes that aren't pointed at by clues, um, particularly in these corner boxes, when you just get that, it's all about noticing where your scanning is. Like what is the digits that are pointing out? And many, many Sudoku puzzles end up doing that. You'll end up with all of the information being in your your big cross in the middle. Um, and then particularly sort of these cells you find very often will have a lot of information on them. Oh, missed those. So you'll often find those have a lot of information and then the stuff on the outside of that just doesn't. And when you get to that, you are literally just down to, can I find the weak spot? And until you find the weak spot, you're just lost. And it's amazing how many puzzles do that. I still missed that one. Um, it's amazing how common that is. Um, yeah. And it's just finding the weak spot. And in this one, even though like the, the given digits outside here were two and eight, the weak spot seemed to be five. Um, and you just had to find it. Um, once you found it, it flowed okay. But you're just sitting there going, what's the weak digit? And you can sit there going, I'm scanning for this quad and everything. Yeah. Um, I try to avoid setting puzzles that do that because whenever I hit that, I feel that it's... Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel it's a weird ending, but good puzzle. I really like this constraint. I really do. Thanks, Bill, for the puzzle, and I'll see you for tomorrow's one. Okay, and for me, what is literally 30 seconds after recording the previous puzzle, I'm back with the puzzle for the 1st of February 2024, which is called I'm So Sorry by Philip Newman. So, and this is the message. Sometimes you have to return to the scene of the crime. Today's guess is a ratio pairs Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits in cells separated by a black dot must have the ratio given, and you get a dinosaur of a not sorry Nambalia. Um, sorry, not sorry about what he said. He's just trying to have some fun. Don't worry, don't worry, don't lose your head. He didn't mean to hurt anyone. Um, Six is one of my favorite musicals. It, it, it's not my favorite musical. Everyone should know what that is. Okay, so um, let's have a look at this. I've already read out the rules while I was doing it. So uh, as a normal Sudoku rules, and of course, digits in cells separated by black dot have a ratio, um, have the ratio given. So one to three or three to one, two to one, three to one, four to one, six to one. So I'm terrible at these, but I'm going to try my best. So let's restart the puzzle to keep, restart my time and let's give this a shot. So six to one, um, if two would go to 12. So this has to be one and six. Um, seven to one has to be one and seven. Um, now four to one has a couple of options because, or nine to one has to be one and nine. Um, now four to one could be one, four or two, eight. Um, but this one, if the four to one, six would have to go to way too high. So this is the one, this is the six. Six now can't go up because it would be too high. So six goes down to two. Um, I'm terrible at this math. Two would go to one if it goes down or up to four because um, these are just normal dots, two to one. Um, do, do, do. Now, nine couldn't go down. Can't, nine divided by five isn't an integer and multiply by five is a problem. So this is the one, this is the nine. One in a ratio of five is five. Now, one would go to four because I can't divide it and go to a quarter. 
Um, that means this is the one. Now, 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 now. Seven, I can't divide it by three and I can't multiply it by three. So this is the one, this is the seven, this is a three. Now in here, I can't do one, four anymore. So this is two and eight. And there's a two here making this the eight and this the two. I should probably have started up here, but I didn't because um, that often happens. Now this can't be, well, this, uh, this is just a normal dot, but this isn't. So this can't be four, one. So this has to be two, eight because it can't be four, one because of that. So this is, if this is two, this is one or four. If this is eight, this is four. This is always four. Um, 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 um. So this is a ratio of three. So it could be one, three. It could be two, six. It can't be, or it could be three, nine. Ugh. Well, this can't be a three. So this can't be a one or a nine. Oh, this can't be a six, so this can't be a two. No, I'm, do I'm doing this wrong. This is a normal ratio dot, and it can't have a one, a two, or a six on it. So this is four, eight. Um, this is the four, this is the eight. This is a ratio of two, so that's a four, which puts four up here somewhere. Actually, it puts four on one of those dots. Now, this is a ratio of two without a four. This could be three, six... That can't be two or four. Mm, not sure. This is a ratio of three. So it's either one, three, or two, six, or three, nine. Did I forget that as an option down here? And have I messed this puzzle up? Have I messed this puzzle up? No, because of the one, seven. Um, did I forget it here? No, because of the six there. Um... I'm completely stumped. So one, two, three, four, five, six, three, five, seven go into those. Oh, there's no two there. So this is one or nine. So this is just a three. Now, th if this is one, this is two. This, oh, this can't be a nine. This is the one, this is the two. Two is in a four ratio with eight. Eight is in a two ratio with four. puts four in one of those two. If I put a four here, this is a two or an eight. Now three ratio. I can't put a one on it. So it's two and it can't be two six because I can't put two six. So this is three nine, but this is a two ratio. So that's the three, that's the nine, that's the six. This is a triple, which I'll put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm doing badly at this. Six is in one of those two. I'm doing badly at this. Oh, this two made this eight and this two a while ago. That's now a four by Sudoku. Six in this box is there. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Well, there's no four there. There's no four there. That's the four, which means that's not the four. That is the four, which means this is two or eight. This three. Yeah, if it was one, three... It can't be two, six. So there is a three on it and it's one, three or nine, but I can't put a, a nine here. So if this is one, this is two. So this is not a one. This is the three, which means this is a one or a nine, but three is in a two relationship only with six. But that means that's not a three. One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine go into those. There's no three there. Why am I struggling so bad at this? Two is in one of those two. This is the nine. This is the five. This is a triple. One, two, three, seven, eight. There's no 
eight in those. So that's the eight. The three, seven makes that the five, which makes that the seven, which makes that the three, taking three out of there. In this column now, that's the three. Now, this column is missing a one. These is a triple, which is one, two, three, seven, eight. There's no three in either of those. So that's the three. This is the seven. This is the eight. This is one, two, three, four, five, and nine. There's no five there. Is it, hang on. Well, that's the seven then. One, two, three, four, five. That's a six. The seven takes seven out of those. Scanning badly, it's my thing. The eight makes this the two. This is a triple. One, five, seven. There's no five there. I've got to put, what's this triple? One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. So this is a five, seven, nine triple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. I don't, f yeah, I could have got that a different way. I'm still scanning terribly. I am not getting a good time on this puzzle. I don't think it's the given digits I'm missing either. At least it's not in the corners this time. What am I? I'm just failing at Sudoku. I've got to put a six in here somewhere. Okay. That's all fine. Except six in this box is here, which means six is in one of those two. So what's this triple? Two, three, nine. There's no three in either of those. That's the three. So these are two and nine. That's the nine. That's the two. Again, it's in box nine that the thing was going on. So this is not the two. This is the two. The three looks back making that the seven and that the three, which looks back making that the five. That's not the five. This is a seven, nine pair. But... Yeah, that's not the five. It doesn't seem to be it, does it? This is one, seven, or nine. What? What's this? One, two, three, four, five, and eight. So this is five, this is eight. So this is nine. So this is one, this is... No, I broke it. So the seven makes this one, and this is one, this is a two. But the one makes this seven and this nine. Glad I had the conflict checker on, and I know that I probably shouldn't have, but what a shame. One, five, six. I had way too many people tell me I should just use it. So thanks. Um, five, seven, seven, nine. As an apology puzzle, this is still quite tricky. The Sudoku at the end here, this nine makes this five. So this is seven, this is nine, this is seven, this is nine. The seven makes this five, this nine, this five, which takes five out of there. This is the six, this, this is the six, this is the one, this is the five, this is the one. These are six and seven. 10 minutes, 18. Terrible time. Yeah, I missed two hats by over two minutes. Two minutes and 18 seconds. So terrible time, terrible video, probably a bad solve. Sorry. Um, yeah, sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Okay, and now the puzzle for the 2nd of February 2024, and this is an XV Pairs Sudoku by Clover, called XV Pairs Sudoku by Clover. Um, this is the message that came with it.
The last puzzle was called I'm So Sorry, but Philip has nothing to be sorry about. Sorry, not sorry about what he did. Sorry. Um, except maybe the time that his award-winning pet ball python, German Whispers, ate my solving slippers. I, I'm wearing, uh, I have solving slippers under my desk. I've been wearing slippers a lot recently. It's summer here. Why would I go out? Um, today's guest is an XV pair Sudoku, the rules. And then if you get a dinosaur um, today, you get a sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that was coming. Uh, Sinonithosaurus. Uh, Great. Okay. <laughs> Sinonithosaurus. Didn't know that one. Anyway, uh, XV pair Sudoku, normal Sudoku rules. Um, digits separated by an X, sum to 10. Digits separated by a V, sum to 5. Not all possible X's and V's are necessarily given. So it's perfectly five, f fine, perfectly five. It, everything is perfectly five here now. How are you? Um, it is perfectly fine for any domino, because these are all in dominoes, as in two squares together, um, any domino to sum to five or 10 without an X or a V. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. I think I've got the timer still running. Let's give this a shot. This is sums to five. And the only way to do that is one, four or two, three. That can't be one, four. So this is two, three. That means this has to be seven. This, if this is three, this would be seven and it can't be. So this is eight, two and three. There must be a low digit on an X. So this is one and nine. This one means this is the nine and this is the one. See, I'm giving up time already. This has to be two, three because it can't be one, four. The one, two, three is on here. This has to be four, six because I need to put a low digit on an X um, because if two high digits would automatically be a a below two low digits automatic as in high being above five, low being below five. Can't put five on an X because I need to, uh, the other digit would have to be a five and I can't put two fives that see each other. So there must be a low there must be a high um, and one, two and three is already gone. The four makes this the six and this the four. Um, this has to be a high digit because all the lows are gone. Six and eight are gone. So this is seven or nine. So this is one or three. Uh, it's not three. So this is one and nine. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, seven and eight. This is not an eight. Great. Okay. Not an eight. Great. The three looks up, of course, making that the two and that three. I should have done that before. This is one, four, and I know the order. One, four, and one, because that's also a V. This is a two, three, because it sees the four. Um, this sees one, three, and four. So this is two, eight. And I know the order because the two already in row nine. This is one, four. I'm doing really slowly at this, but I'm explaining more than normal, which is what I enjoy. I much prefer to explain than to solve. I need a low digit on this. So this is three and seven. And I know the order because there's already a three in row eight. Uh, this sees all the low digits. So it's uh, this is a high digit um, and it's not seven. So it's six. Well, it can't be six because this can't be four. It can't be seven. So this is eight or nine. And this is, well, it's not one. So this is eight and two because if it was nine, it'd have to be one and it can't be. The three, of course, makes this two and this three. Now this, hmm. Well, okay. This can't, it needs a low digit on a can't be two, three or four. So this is one nine. And I know the order because there's already a nine there. And uh, the only one I haven't done is that one. And I'm not sure. Okay, so what is this quadruple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. There's no six there. There's no nine in either of those. There's no six in either of those. That's a five, seven pair. So I take five, seven out of those. That becomes the nine. That becomes the six. Why did my music just get way louder? Um, this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, three, five, and seven. There's no five there. There's no three there. But this can't have oh, three, seven. It can't be one, nine. It can't be three, seven. It can't be four, six. This is two, eight. So one, two, three, four and nine go into those. So that's the nine, that's the four. The five, seven, of course, looks up making that the eight. Oh, this is not eight or seven. This is the five, this is the seven. I missed the invisible seven. This is a pair, two and nine, I think. Yep, that seems correct. This row is missing three, five and six. There is no three in either of those. So that's the three. The five looks up making that the six and that the five. This is seven and eight, and there's already an eight in column eight. These are four, five, and six. There's a four there. Hmm. Okay, this column, one, two, three, and nine. So this is the three and this is the nine. What I'm doing is I'm just looking at where there's pressure. I've 
completely miss this, which needs to have a low digit on it. This is one nine. So one and nine, that might do something. I mean, it does something, whether it does anything helpful to me. But if a five, six, and seven go in, there's no seven in those. So that's the seven. The five and the six is probably resolved. Not that I'm seeing. One, two, three, four, six, eight. There's no four. There's no six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight go into those. So this is five, six, this is eight. This is five, six, or seven. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight again. So this is an eight, this is five, this is six, this is seven, this is five, meaning this is six, this is five, this is six, this is seven. It means this is not six, or this is not six either. These are three and nine, and the three makes that the nine, that the three, which makes that the two and that the nine. Okay, now, one in this box is right there. Two is now right there. So this is four or five, isn't it? So this is five, this is four, this is five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, four, six, and seven. There's no seven, there's no six, there's no four. But the five makes this the seven, this the three, this the five. The eight makes this the two and this the eight, which means this isn't the eight. Uh, this is the four, this is the six, this is the eight, the four looks back making that the seven, that the six, that the four, and that is five minutes and 41 seconds, which is one minute and uh, 19 seconds underneath the two hat time. Pretty happy with that one, really nice puzzle. Beautiful um, setup of the XVs um, to use the high low on the, um, on the Xs, which is one of my favorite uses of the Xs, that or parody. Um, really cool. I really enjoyed it. Um, thank you, Clover. And tomorrow's puzzle, which I will be recording in about two minutes because I end up having to record these in batches, uh, is going to be the last one in this video. Okay, and now to end up, well, finish off this video, um, the puzzle for the 3rd of February 2024 called Silence is Golden by Bill Murphy. And here's the message that came with it. Shh. You hear that? Me neither. Isn't it great? Anyway, first school week back was good. Thank you for asking. Have a thermo Sudoku and then the rules. If you get a, um, a dinosaur, you get a quiet Quilmosaurus. I, I don't understand these names. Okay, so this is the puzzle and it's a thermo Sudoku, which means apart from normal Sudoku rules apply, digits along thermometers increase from the bulb to the tip. So this digit must be larger than this digit. This digit must be larger than this digit. It cannot stay the same and it cannot go down. So even if there was a way that, um, like even if this was to go to here, it must increase. Um, so they must go up as they go along the thermo shapes. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. I am terrible at thermos recently. So we'll see how we go. Let's give this a shot. So I can see, for example, in this box, um, you can never put nine anywhere except the, the tip of a thermo or an empty square in a box. And there's no empty square. So nine must be in here. Similarly, nine must be in here. Um, nine can't be in there, but it could be in those. It could be in those. Hmm. One is in one of those two, however, which means this can't be a one because I can't put one partway along a thermo. This can't be a one. So this is at least a two, which means one is in one of those two. Now, similarly, one is in one of these, so one is in one of those two. This is at least a two. So is this about twos? Because where do I put two in this? Because I can't. I have to put two in this row, and I can't put two in those two. This is actually a two. Okay, so is this about twos? So where do I put two in this row? Because I can't put two down here. If I put two here, that's a one. So two is in one of those two. I'm very confused. So where do I put three in this? So three is in one of those, but I can't put three there. Three, two, one, zero. So this is the three. So this is actually a one, two pair.
So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine in this row is now here. Now, where do I put six in this row? If I was to put six here, I need something higher. So this is six, similar with five. Where do I put five in this row? I don't have anything higher. I don't have anything higher than four. I don't have anything higher than three. And this is a one, two pair. This is weird. Now, three is in one of those. This isn't the nine anymore. This is the nine, which means nine is in one of those two. Now, two is either here or here, because if I put two here, this would be a one and that'd be broken. So two is in one of those two. Eight is in one of those two. I'm really not following this. But one is in one of those two. I'm really not following this. Oh, where's nine in this row? It has to be down here. So this is actually a nine. Five and six, this is nine, five, six. This is roped. This is six, this is five. So this is now two, this is one, this is two. These are one, seven, and eight. So these are one, seven, and eight. And this is two with three, four. This is one, seven, eight. Now I don't know that that roping is going to continue, but it's definitely true up here. Roping meaning that that is um, because those three digits, or it was because those three digits were the same as those three digits, they had to be the same as those three digits. So if this is nine, this has a maximum of seven? No, I'm not following this. So I don't just want to pencil mark everything, but I might have to. Because maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four. No, maximum three. So this is one, two, three. Two, four, five, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven. This is not helping. Five or eight only. Six, seven, eight, nine. This is only five or eight. I'm lost. I'm very lost. So they've got to be. There has to be a two on one of these thermos. It's either here or in one of those two cells, because I can't put it there. So there's a two in one of those cells. There's a one in one of those cells. There's a one here, there's a one here, and then there's a one in one of those. That... I've really been doing badly at thermos recently. There's no, yeah, there's no one in those. There's... So what's the minimum this could be? This is a minimum of four. So this is a minimum of five. Five, six, seven is what that is. So this is eight or nine only, because it can't be six or seven, and it has to be higher than five. No, I've missed it. I have completely missed it. Oh, where's two in column one? Two can't be here, two can't be here, two is in one of those. That's two, that's one, that's not one or two. This now can't be one, two, three, four, five. This is minimum, this is six, seven, eight, this is seven, eight, nine. So four has to go on this thermo and it's there. Five has to go on this thermo and it's here. So this is not five. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. 
there's a two in one of those and it's not there. It's not there. That's the two. So this is five, eight, nine. Nine is now absolutely in one of those two. It's all about asking the right questions and I'm not doing it. This is another really hard puzzle to end off a video and make me look like an idiot at the end because people always remember the first and last things they see. So it's, is it down here? Like I know one is in one of those two. Maximum nine, eight, so maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum five, maximum four, maximum three. Right. So this is three, four, five, six or seven, seven or eight, eight or nine. But this is seven, eight, nine because of the six at the top. So this is not nine and these are one, six. So that takes eight out of there. That becomes five, four, three, two, one. It was all about asking the right question. There's no one there. So what are these digits? I'm not putting one in any of them. So not one, two, three, four. These are five, six, seven, eight. So this can't be five or six. This can't be five or eight. And this can't be seven or eight. So three in this row is there. No, that's not true. Three could be there. The seven looks up taking seven out of there. The eight looks up taking eight out of there. Oh, this isn't the eight. This is the eight. So this is not the eight. The one seven makes that the eight. These are one, three, four. And it's not four. That can't be seven, but that could be. So maximum seven, maximum six. So it can't be two, it could be three, it can't be four, five. So this is three or six. And this could be four, can't be five, six, seven, uh, seven. I don't understand. Three is in one of those. It's probably roping, but I'm not feeling, I'm not seeing where it's forced. These are one, six, seven. So there's no seven or eight there. Oh, the one made this six, which made this one. That's it. This is seven. This is five. This is one, this is seven, there's no seven there. So this is the three, this is the one, this is the four, this is the six. Missed, missed that. This is the nine. This is not the, not the nine. The nine takes the nine out of there. This becomes the nine. Uh, the five makes that the eight. So this is not the one. This is the one. This is a six, seven. But these are one, two, three, four, five, nine. So we know nine, five, and four because of the thermo. So these, this is roped. So this is six, seven, eight. There's no six there. Um, this row isn't roped. One, two, three, four, five, seven. So that's the seven. So there's no seven there. That becomes the eight. There's no eight there. The eight looks down, making that the six, which means there's no six there. 
that's the five, that's the four. There's no seven there. Seven is in one of those two. If that's seven, that's six, and that's broken. So this is the eight, this is the six, this is the seven, this is the six, this is the seven. The three means that's not the three, that's the three. This is one, two, three, four, one and six, which is resolved. One, six, one, seven, one, which means eight and seven. The three and the four has been resolved for a while. And in here, I need to put a two, which goes there, which means that's the nine, that's the eight. And that is the correct solution in 12 minutes and 13 seconds, which means I missed it by over five minutes. Now, I did miss this, but that didn't feel like five minutes of loss. Wow. Okay. I'm terrible at this. Yeah, I'm just terrible at this. Okay, for better solves, go check out the um, GAS YouTube channel because, wow. Um, and on the GAS homepage, there'll be a link to a whole bunch of other people um, solving these. And, you know, on the GAS Discord, there's literally, um, I mean... Something like 1,200 people. How many people had solved this? Um, what was it? It was 866. But you see about 100 people a day say that they get two hat times. And you see, which means that you get about 600 or 700 or up to 1,000 people a day who do not post their times. So, yeah. Um, you've got to wonder why that is. Um, I'm assuming it's because they're kind of uncomfortable with it. Um, they're uncomfortable posting their times because they don't feel like they're part of that solving community because most of the people who post their times are, I did it in four and a half minutes, woohoo. And if you took 25 minutes, most people don't feel comfortable sharing their time in a place where everyone is showing off how fast they are. It's a, it's a thing. Um, if you walk into a, a, an area, like if, if, Let's pick on 10-pin bowling. If everyone is bowling 200 plus and you're bowling in the 20s, you don't want to be there for very long. You just don't. Um, if everyone is like, say, look at me. Oh, oh, you're in your 20s. Look at me. I'm bowling 225. You don't feel comfortable, particularly if every single game they're playing, they're saying, but I got 225. Um, or, you know, I'm over 200. <laughs> you don't you don't feel comfortable there for very long you just feel like an idiot so yeah i understand people who don't hang around in that channel and i know people who have avoid that channel and that server because of it the tracking sheets is where they get their puzzles from thanks everyone for watching and as always good luck with your solving